What's up everybody? Heartless back here with another haul video for you guys. I'm a month behind so I'm trying to play catch up. Wasn't supposed to buy anything last month or this month but kind of did. Saving up for New York Comic Con but I decided to mash them all up into one video for October so nothing for um, September sorry. But I ended up getting 44 volumes. I read some of them. Some of them I didn't and also picked up two imports at uh, Kino Cunha when I was there two or three weeks ago. Decided to pick up and see what the hype was about Tokyo Avengers for everybody. And this has a cool little slipcase on it. Let's see. I love these. Like, And the Takamons are so much. Woo! I don't want to show that for YouTube. But yeah, that's the front cover. But yes, the Majin symbol. Everyone thinks it's supposed to be something else, but it's not. So uh, yeah, let's not talk about that. And one of the other series that I've been reading and loving is da dan da dan da dan dan it is so goddamn good if you're not reading this if you like fun crazy over the top <laughs> like say chainsaw man or uh die dark or dora hedora this i highly recommend there's no english physical print for it yet so i gotta support it and bought the japanese tankoban but i cannot wait for this series to come out in english it is so good and just over the top with just aliens ghost uh kid literally loses his on his balls and just turbo granny's amazing i i can't say how much i love this series the series is badass and i highly recommend it so if you can find it check it out it's so good first up we have one of my favorite companies viz media if it's a viz signature series viz after dark just um anything viz i love and it's been good so I've been waiting a while to actually pick this up. I couldn't find volume one anywhere, but when Newberry was having the sale, I found volume one of it. And it is Dead Dead Demons, DDDD Destruction. Read the first volume, it was cute and fun. I haven't had time to finish them off, but uh, let me show you what I got. I got volume one. Volume two. I'm trying to get better at holding these because sometimes I'll flip them real fast. Volume 3. Volume 4. Volume 5. And Volume 6. Now, I think there is 10 or 11 out, and the series is still ongoing as far as I know for coming out in America. So yeah, I uh, figured I'd pick it up and see what all the hype was. But if I couldn't find volume one, there was no point, you know? I'm weird, I like to binge, so yeah. Let's get on to some of my other favorites. Got a new volume of Beastars, volume 14. It's a great series. What else can I say? Like, you should be reading it. If you're not, what the f*** wrong with you? It's a good series. Speaking of badass series, Hell is Paradise Volume 10. When this came out, I forgot all about it. And I was like, oh, shit, Volume 10's out. Such a great story. If you're not, don't sleep on this. It is great. And then picked up another Golden Kagami Volume 13. Slowly trying to trudge my way through getting the series and then just binge the ever living hell out of it because. First volume is pretty good. Curious to see where the story goes. Then, because this is an in-between month for me, we got Call of the Night, volume three. And also volume four. As you know, I love my vampires and succubuses. It's just so fun. So yeah, I had to pick them both up. And usually it's not a double twofer like that, but I figured, hey, what the hell, you know. Then we got another one coming for you. We got Undead Unluck, Volume 3. Volumes 1 and 2 were pretty good. Uh, I could have been lazy and read it on the Shonen Jump Plus app, but I didn't. I like reading it, physical copy, and support it. Then we got Volume 12 of Juju Kaisen. Loving the series so far. I still need Volume 0, but hey, it is what it is, you know? And then Seraph of the End, 22. I got this earlier in the month. I think I got it a little early. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be out yet, but uh, 
It's a great series. Again, you like vampires, you like demons. This series is good. The anime is pretty good too. It was short lived though. And then we got my favorite, Chainsaw Man. I scream this all the time between this and Die Dark. You should be reading it. The art's gorgeous. The story's great. I mean, how can you not love Denji? He's so cool. Can't wait for the new stuff coming out. And then we got Spy Family Volume 6. This is just a cute little story that I enjoy a lot. And it's been a good read so far. All right. Up next, we have Seven Seas Entertainment. They put out some really good shit. Like, I enjoy them. I actually prefer their ghost ship line where it's the more spicier, etchy, sometimes hentai, but downright cultured. That's right, cultured stuff. I love it. So I got some cultured in here. I'll show you in a minute. But I picked up uh, Scarlet Volume 2. This is a Yuri Vampire novel. I mean, Volume 1 was really good. But I mean, yeah, if I'm going to read Yaoi, why not read Yuri? So far, so good. Pretty good. I liked it. Then we got Volume 13 of Mushuko Tensai. I love this. The anime just came back on. It's so good. But sadly, I'm missing Volumes 4 and 5. I have everything else, so I can't binge it yet. But I picked it up at Kunio uh, Kinyo Kunya in New York. All right. Up next, we have How to Build a Dungeon, Book of the Demon King. Uh, yeah, I'd say this is uh, older uh, adults. It's pretty close. It is spicy. It's etchy. Uh, I don't know. Is there any point? Oh, yeah. Never mind. Yep, yep. This should have been under Ghost Ship, but it's Seven Seas. I highly recommend it. If you like that um, isekai or sword and sorcery, high sorcery type of thing, this is spicy as f and it's really good. All right, now on to the ghost ship line. I love the ghost ship line. I'm a dirty perv. I admit it, but it's fun to read. I've been looking for this everywhere. Saki the Succubus. I picked this up at Kinyo Kunya because I couldn't find volume one anywhere. And then last week I was going to go back with New York Comic Con, but I was too busy at the con. I don't want to walk a mile and a half to it. So I picked up volume one and haven't read it, but I cannot wait because it sounds like a fun little romp. I think there's six of them out, but it definitely says parental warning on it. How is it? Meh. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's good. I picked up these two because they just sounded great, but I haven't had a chance to read it. It says, does a hot elf live next door to you? This is also another spicy manga that people are saying is pretty good. And it is just full of... Uh, a cute little elf girl. Let's flip through this. Uh, too raunchy. Not raunchy enough for me, but I'm still going to check it out because I bought it. And then, title just sounded really good. It says, JK Haruku is a sex worker in another world. This sounded pretty cool. I'll give you a quick synopsis on the back. It says, Bra deal in another world. Haruku Komaya was an ordinary student until her moron classmate got them both into a terrible accident. Now Hora has been transported to another world where only men are allowed to be adventurers. Determined to make the most of it, she takes a job as a blue cat nocturne brothel to make a living in the only way she knows. No cheat abilities, no powers, her quick wits and naughty bits. Sounds pretty cool. Just sounded a little different and quick flip through because I haven't read it yet. Eh. Okay, yep, yep, yep. That's classy. Next up, we got Kodansha Comics. These are all stuff that I'm currently reading and I'm not caught up yet with. So we got Those Not So Sweet Boys, Volume 4. So far, I'm really liking it. It's cute and fun, and I want to know where the story's going. And this been hyping this. Uh, I still haven't watched the anime, but Peach Boy Riverside, I can't wait to read this. So good. You guys sleeping on it. Definitely, definitely should check this out. Gave a quick little review of it in one of my previous pickup hauls, and this was really, really good. Now, rom-coms, usually not my but I love them. Uh, like I said, enjoying Rent a Girlfriend. I love the quintessential quintuplets. And I love the anime for Watakoi, and so far, the manga's been pretty good, and Volume 5 came out. So we got Watakoi, Love is Hard for Notaku. Like, if you're, you're watching this, like, this is just being an adult, and real life 
that goes on and how you just deal with it. It's cute, it's fun. I highly, highly recommend it. It is so good. And then, we get a double feature because like I said, I was smashing these two together. We got Rent-A-Girlfriend, volume eight. And Rent-A-Girlfriend, volume nine. Can't wait to get caught up on this and binge it. Oh, it's so good. But yeah, I never thought I would like rom-com slice of life stuff, but it's pretty damn good. You guys are sleeping on it. If you're a dude and you're not reading it, you're missing out. Come on. Up next, we get a smaller imprint that some of you guys may know, Vertical Comics. I think they're an offshoot of Kadansha. But we have Don't Toy With Me, Ms. Nagataro, Volume 8. And like I said, I'm enjoying it. She's a little tsundere, but the art's great and the covers are good. All right, this is a series I really like, the Monogatari series. I have two of the light novels. I'm actually sleeping on it. I bought them to read and just been doing other too busy, but I enjoy it. But Baka Monogatari Volume 10 just came out. And yeah, it's a great story. It's a mind jumps around a little, but it's pretty good. You should check it out. Finally, we got Yen Press for this month. I enjoy Yen Press. They put out some really, really good manga. And they put out some of that, you know, more etchy, spicy adult stuff. So I got some of that at the bottom. All right, up next we have Yen Press. They're a great publisher. They do a lot of really good regular manga. And they do some more etchier, adult, spicy, just content. I got some of that in here too, of course. Wouldn't it be me if I didn't have some nasty man in there. So we got Dead Mount Death Play, Volume 6. It's a really good manga. I actually started reading it last year. I think there were three volumes out, and I've been catching up. It's an isekai, and basically the main character was a necromancer and got killed and got reincarnated and isekai back into this world, and it's pretty damn good. Violence, gore, sex, nudity, everything you can want from a manga. Yeah, it's pretty good. People are finally checking this out, but don't sleep on it. All right, up next, oh, we get six of them. Whoop, seven. All right, this looked really cute to me. I'm like, ah. Oh, Maybe it's a slice of life, but whatever, I'll check it out. No, this ain't. So it's Happy Sugar Life. I got one through seven. Holy It's pretty If you like weird, dark, mental, trauma-ish type things, I highly recommend this. So we got volume one. It's really cute, but it is not for children. Uh, let me give you the quick blurb on the back. It says, lies, crime. This must be what love is. Theft. This is what she thought, murder. In order to protect these feelings, anything goes. She will do anything to be with her. So basically the main character uh, finds this homeless girl and she just wants to be happy with her. She calls it her happy sugar life. I think I'm four or five volumes into it. And it's cute as f and it's dark as f It is so metal, I'd recommend it. Anyways, I'll shut up and just show you the rest of the covers. That's why you guys came, right? We got volume two. Volume three. Volume four. Volume five. Volume six. And volume seven. I just got behind on this. I really was binging it and I got busy with work and everything. I'm gonna finish it up. I think there's nine or 10 out right now, but I want to buy a couple to binge it and see if I liked it. It's really good. Um, there's a lot of adult issues. That's the place where I can put it. And if you're triggered by uh, murder or just uh, really fucked up situations, I'd say stay away from it, but I recommend it. I liked it, it was good. All right. All right, now something that's a little lighter, but it's not actually lighter. We got Toilet Bound Hinoko. Uh, I picked up volume 10, and so far it's been a pretty good read. Really enjoying how the story's progressing. And now, for all you deviants, what we pick up? Picked up some smut, of course I picked up some smut. Don't you know? I like smutty, horrible 
yeah. So anyways, uh, this is volume three. I still need volume two. I read volume one. I skimmed through this. Woo! But anyways, it's how to save the world. Can you wake up the morning after with the Demi-Human volume three? And yeah, it's not even fan service. It is just straight up hentai. It's got the sense of blurbs, but it is what it is. Now, these were upside down. This one is breasts are my favorite things in the whole world. I thought this was going to be really raunchy and gross. It's not. It's a cute Yuri love story about a girl that basically she just loves tits. She just likes them and she needs them for archery. And it's a cute little story. I'm not going to finish with volume three because I read the first two hoping that would get better because you know sometimes first volume and then they really get into it and it gets lewd and crazy. This was just, it was, it was fan service, a little etchy, but nothing too over sexual. It's just girl really likes breast. It's also hard for her to communicate, like the girl that she's friends with, she lets her hold her breast and I'm just not going to get into it because, well, if I ever get monetized, never going to happen. Uh, I don't want to get for it. All right. And then we got one of my favorite mangas. This is what actually got me back into manga besides Tokyo Ghoul. We got Goblin Slayer Volume 10. If you're not reading this, I don't know what's wrong with you. It's dark fantasy. It is right up there on my list with like Berserk or Vinland Saga. It's just amazing. All right. Hopefully you guys liked all the stuff I picked up and maybe find something that'll uh, really catch your eye and you should check out. And if you like it, do me a favor, give me that thumbs up because if you really like it, I know you like it. I mean, what else can you possibly want from me? I show you content, give you good content. You should share with your friends. Share with someone you don't know. Your grandmother. I would. Uh, also, do me a favor. Click that uh, bell notification icon so that way every time I post a new video, you get to know what the hell's going on and you get that directly to you. And do me a favor. Is there anything that I should be reading or checking out that I haven't yet? Write down below in the comments section. And if you loved it, tell me. If you hated it, thought it was let me know too. If it's a hot dumpster fire, I want to know. We can discuss it, you know? So yeah, and uh, do me a favor, if you're not already subbed, sub, you should be, but I don't know. And uh, also, in a new room, gonna start streaming on Twitch, play some spicy uh, physical games and other Switch games. Should be fun. Thanks, guys. Bye.